Hi, I'm Sylvia De Silva. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you the entire supply of acrylic mediums that I have and why I use them and what kind of effects they create. So keep watching and you will get to learn lots. I'm going to show you every acrylic medium that I have used so far. So this is the first one I've ever used and that's Camel Texture White. So I have a video where I have made textured flower paintings. I will have the link right up here and you can check it out. It is almost the consistency of toothpaste. And well, right now, this is a very old bottle. I've used it for almost five years, I think. And you can see how it is. And uh, this I have used for so long that, you know, now it's almost dry and i'm not really able to use it anymore maybe only if i add some water in it but still i don't think i'll be using it uh, i could use it for certain modeling purpose i've used it in one of these this is a silicone mold which i bought from itsy bitsy and uh, yeah i've just dried it out on one of these and once it dries i can use it uh, next thing i'm going to show you is a medium that I bought very recently it's called uh, little birdie mixed media paste uh, it says it's a two-in-one gesso and modeling paste but uh, I've uh, not used it as gesso so far and I've tried using this in the molds and uh, this is the result I got it's uh, I tried to make one of those butterflies but uh, it broke while I was removing it so I think I should have put it a little thicker but uh, I don't think this consistency is good enough especially if you're not very light-handed and uh, it could break easily so I'm probably not going to use this for the mold purpose you can see how easily it broke so yeah probably not a very good idea but you could use it on canvas to create textures directly. Okay, so the very next one, this again I acquired recently, it's called Crackle Texture Paste and this is uh, Expression Imix. I am not really sure of this brand very much but this is the uh, most economically reasonable one which I found and I'm gonna show you in a bit the effects it creates so I was just trying out these things and yeah so this is the crackle effect created by the Imix crackle texture paste and I think it is really good uh, yeah you can see it here I've just painted over it and yeah this is the effect you get with it and I really like it you could make some interesting things with it like uh, I really like the effect I've made here I've painted uh, pink underneath and then just uh, dabbed gold uh, bronze paint over it and it's really turned out as I expected okay there you go the next one I have on my list is Hakim's Glow in the Dark Medium. This reacts with light. Uh, you can use this on a painting but you can't mix it with paint because the glow effect doesn't really work so well. It only works well if you are putting it over a painting, if you are putting it on the surface and uh, you keep it in the light for a while and then put it in the dark and it really glows so uh, if you are interested in just using something that you can uh, use for a glow effect on the top then this is the one for you okay, moving on uh, this is Liquitex pouring medium it's one of my favorite pouring mediums I've tried several others and not really liked it as much because this doesn't retain any bubbles on the surface and uh, it uh, it dries up really smooth with a really smooth surface and 
anyone asks me for pouring medium i recommend trying out the liquitex pouring medium okay so the next one this is a pouring medium that i purchased at artist kata in pune and uh, yeah kind of works the same way but i don't really like the surface effects it gives because uh, it doesn't dry like liquitex pouring medium not my favorite next on the list is art masking fluid this i mostly use with watercolors it's uh, for masking certain areas which i want white this one is by delaroni and it's very effective i really like it but on some papers it leaves a little bit of an off white mark just like this so if you want that area to be completely white i'm not so sure it completely depends on your paper okay the next medium i'm mentioning is liquitex gesso now this is a natural gray gesso because i usually buy primer canvases and i don't really require a gesso but uh, sometimes i prefer a slightly darker surface not black i do have to buy a black so uh, a black gesso because i'm going to try that out next but yeah this is something i use when and i want to completely eliminate the white so this gesso works really really well okay so that right there is the consistency and it's kind of like very thin paint uh, and it works really well you have to put two layers of this for it to really work well uh, this is something i tried before uh, pouring medium came into existence in india i should say and this is what i used to create uh, pouring pour paintings and uh, yeah i wouldn't recommend it because it's quite thick and it won't flow that that well and uh, you could use it to extend your acrylic paint depending on how much you want to extend it but do not you know uh, replace this for paint and just use a teensy bit of paint and add a lot of gloss medium so next on the list is liquitex matte varnish now this is something that uh, i really really like because uh, after using several different kinds of varnish matte varnish just protects your painting and gives a matte look when there are certain paints that give a little glossy effect when you make a painting you will see that some areas are matte and some are very uh, glossy so if you want to even that out and give a matte finish then go for this because it's excellent i really like it i have used it on one of my paintings and uh, i wish i'd used this earlier uh, before i started using gloss medium some paintings do look good with gloss medium but this one uh, it's worth buying which brings me to the next one now this is gloss varnish also great if you want to give a oil paint sort of look to your paintings then go for this one uh, they are both great both the liquitex matte varnish and gloss varnish the best varnish i have used okay moving on to another medium this is liquitex glass beads and uh, i really wanted to try this out it's sort of very uh, it's like a normal gloss medium uh, like a gel medium but it's got these tiny beads in it glass beads and i'll show you how they look in a painting So this is the glass beads and I have painted over it again I had a pink uh, base and over that I just tried to dab gold bronze right on top of the beads so you can see it over here as well okay let me show you with another color okay so basically it's 
just to give a different kind of texture and I really like it okay so that's where the glass beads are okay now this is string gel and I have not really used it I recently received this okay I also have this uh, Vincent Newton acrylic medium uh, it's a gloss varnish which I have used on a few paintings and it's good I assume uh, it's a Vincent Newton so the quality is really nice but uh, I'd like it to be a little thicker because I felt this was too thin and it's not really my thing because uh, I need to be able to see where I'm applying varnish when I'm doing it and this is just too transparent. This is silicone oil again I bought this from Artist Kata and this is really really useful to create cells when you're doing acrylic pores and I have a flow improver by Vincent Newton now this is something that you use in place of water because some paints really have a very uh, thick consistency uh, and some have a very thin consistency so when you're using a paint that is really thin you don't want to mix water with it you in that case flow improver really helps it and uh, yeah uh, occasionally it also helps you to uh, extend your paint a little bit so yeah this is it but uh, for beginners I don't really recommend using this I always use water mostly and this was just a piece that I picked up on discount so I use it occasionally when I come across a paint that's very thin and okay uh, this is an airbrush cleaner uh, which I haven't opened yet because uh, I haven't done any airbrush uh, work lately and not to forget uh, I use gold leaves by ideal art when the gold leaf thing started off it was uh, really easy to find genuine stuff but now we find these things that are really shiny and don't really give a classy look so yeah this is what I've been using and I still have a few leaves left okay and not to forget i use mona lisa adhesive size for metal leaf for the gold leaf applications and this is really good i also do have a video on how to apply gold leaf and uh, i have also a longer version of application of gold leaf if which you will get access to if you subscribe to my uh, blog post my newsletter so head over to my website to check it out thank you so much for watching if you think it will help take your art to the next level do buy those mediums and experiment with them and create beautiful art and do share your photos with me i would love to see them so if any of you want reviews comments critiques anything on your artwork do send the photos to me on uh, by email or message me on Instagram or any of my social media and I will get back to you I will probably make a video out of it and explain to you What to do with your art and how to take it to the next level So if you're interested in that do send me pictures and I will see if I can help you out so Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day